The arm muscle divide into two compartments, the anterior compartment and the posterior compartment, anterior and posterior compartment, flexor compartment and extensor compartment. Now, the anterior compartment or the flexor compartment has three muscles, the biceps, brachii, brachialis, coracobrachialis. First of all, the biceps. The biceps muscle have two heads, short head and long head. When we remove the deltoid, it can be obvious. This is the short head and this is the long head of the biceps. The short head originates from the coracoidobrosis of the scapula, while the long head turned ar around the biceptal group of the head of the humerus and goes more medially to be in in originated from the supra uh, glenoid tubercle of the scapula. This is the common belly of the uh, biceps muscle and this is the tendon. We have tendon and aponeurosis. This is biceptal aponeurosis that inserted superficially into other muscles. While the biceps tendon go more deeply to be inserted into the radius. Here the lateral part, which is the radial tuberosity, inserted into the radial tuberosity. The action of biceps, flexion of the forearm around the elbow joint into the arm and plus supination. Now, the other muscle is the brachialis muscle. Brachialis muscle originates from the anterior surface of the distal one-third or the distal half of the humerus. This is the distal half of the humerus and this is the proximal. So it originates from the anterior surface of the distal half of the humerus, this large muscle situated behind our back support for the biceps. One. Inserted in the reverse way to that of the biceps. The biceps inserted into the radial tuberosity while the brachial is inserted into the ulnar tuberosity. The action of such muscle flexion of the forearm around the elbow joint into the arm. The other muscle, or the last one, this muscle, is the coracobrachialis, originated from the coracoid process or inserted into the medial border of the humerus. The action of this muscle is adduction of the arm around the shoulder joint into the body. Now the posterior compartment. The posterior compartment or the extensor compartment is the triceps, from its name having three heads. This one and this one and other head is this one just up here which is located deeper this one is the lateral head this one is the long head while this is the medial medial long and lateral head the lateral head originated from the posterior surface of the humerus just above the radial groove, while the medial head originates also from the posterior surface of the humerus, but, uh, but inferior to the radial groove. So this is situated medially and this is laterally. So it's called lateral and medial head. The long head goes more up to be uh, originated from the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. All of these three heads come to be inserted into the olecranonal process of the ulna, into a common tendon. The action of this muscle extension of the forearm around the elbow joint into the arm. 